hello and welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm sat, there's a passenger in the uh, the big car, the family car. Uh, Lawrence and I have just popped out to pick up uh, a cupboard for the craft room, the very messy craft room. So hopefully the very messy craft room will only be a bit messy and not very messy in future. We'll see. Uh, there was a message um, on one of these expat forum groups on Facebook somebody was selling I think it's a Billy one of the Billy bookcase range and it's a nice one it's got a glass door in it and it looks in quite good condition but anyway she only wanted 10 euro for it so bargain so um we just been to pick that up sorry going under a tunnel um Josh was gonna help something strange has happened with my camera I don't know if this is picking up on screen but now I'm just a circle on the screen strange i'm still getting used to this new phone anyway blah 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 waffle waffle uh, josh was at home so he's going to help lawrence carry it upstairs it's not particularly big it's a small one but anyway uh hopefully uh the rest of the weekend i'll do a little bit of reorganization in the craft room and um i'll let you know how that goes anyway if you are new uh, welcome welcome to the weekly vlog hope you're well i uh, hope everybody's had a good week um, this evening, Lawrence and I are going, and William are going to the Japanese in our local village for sushi. Very happy and excited about that. Uh, ooh, blow out, sun, got my sunglasses on. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon here, it's still quite light. The sun's very low, but uh, very bright. It's been very cold, uh, crisp day here today, but um, not too bad. Anyway, uh, we're almost at home, so um, let's see how the cupboard is. Just been to the village. Uh, I'm in the little car. So I haven't got a phone, phone holder in this car. Lawrence. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Lawrence has took William to football. Uh, and a few of the other kids, which is why I've got the little car. And then, I've got nowhere to stand you. This is so annoying. Um, and then, um, oh, Joshua, bear with me guys, it's so... If I don't remember to pick up the camera now, I'll forget later. Uh, Joshua's working today, uh, so he asked me if I'd give him a lift. Can you believe he got home from the club? It's six o'clock this morning. He didn't drink, which I think is the only thing that sort of saved him. But he said he was a bit tired. A bit. He's going to be exhausted later. He's working. I can't do this belt. He's working till 10 o'clock. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I hope I didn't make anyone dizzy. Uh, he's working till 10 tonight. So I think Lawrence might pick him up. Um, so anyway, on the way back from, well, I dropped Josh. I'd literally left him 50 seconds and he called me, Mom, I forgot my pass. So I drove all the way back home, picked up his pass all the way back. Not quite the Sunday afternoon I planned. It's fine. The things you do for your kids. Um, and then on the way back, I swung by the village uh, because I realised it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. So I wanted to just get something you know very very small for jo uh, Lawrence we don't tend to celebrate but uh, I thought I'll pick him up something anyway there was nothing really valentine -y. Uh I got him some sweets his favorite sweets so I need to go to my local Albert Heim anyway because I need to draw some money out and um, I'll see if there's a card there and if they're not if there's not it's not the end of the world but what they did have I popped into the action they had some polymer clay it's not the Fimo it's the uh, cheapy stuff but yeah it'll do uh, I still need to um, make some more of my uh, walnut shells anyway waffle waffle uh, I will catch you later <laughs> If you do celebrate, I hope you did something nice. Uh, Lawrence got me some lovely red roses, which I think he does pretty much most years. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything else special this evening. Just, yeah, just nice that I got some flowers. I got him some licorice all sorts because they're his favourites and some dime bars. 
<laughs> last of the romantics, eh? Um, as you can see, the craft room is probably even messier. Um, there's the cupboard that uh, we bought. It's got a glass drawer on it, which I've opened because it's just glaring back. Um, I just couldn't face the mess yesterday and just need to gear myself up to that. So, yeah. The other thing I forgot to update you on is we ordered a shower cubicle. Hurrah! Um, I can't remember who it was now. Somebody kindly mentioned some uh, online um, bathroom stores. Oh, it's good out of my head now. It was. If you're watching, thank you. <laughs> but I realised one of those online shops has a showroom where I live. So we popped there. Actually, um, we popped there on um, the day we picked the cupboard up. We swung by there on the way home. I forgot. And um, we've ordered um, the same, it's a quarter circle one, because, uh, yeah, the, the layout of our bathroom is a bit strange. I've explained this before. It was a bedroom previously. Um, so we've ordered a quarter circle one. Uh, they didn't have white. They had a chrome one, but it's really nice. Uh, so we're, we're happy with that. Lawrence is confident he can install it. And they said the, I think the delivery was three weeks, so sometime in March it'll be here and then um yeah he can install it anyway i'm working i've just had my lunch break so i'm gonna um i've got some emails have popped up always i literally turn my back and then my inbox goes Whoa. never mind i will catch you later <laughs> be there an hour or two normally with our new starters during current conditions they literally just go in the office pick up a laptop and top laptop and get like a yeah like a short induction and you know then that's it so i don't think he'll be there long but yeah exciting for him or i know he just seems to have sort of found his his mojo again so i'm super happy for him uh william's gone to school uh, Joshua's really not well. He's done two uh, lateral flow um, tests, uh, all negative. It sounds like he's got like a regular flu to me uh, and he's got a really sore throat. So neither of the kids have suffered with tonsillitis as children. I was plagued by it. Um, I subsequently had mine removed in my uh, in my mid twenties, I think he was. It was quite late. Uh, but yeah, my two seem to have uh, done all right on the old tonsil front so far. You never know, do you? He's probably picked something up in the club on a Saturday night. So anyway, he's not working today. So I've just said uh, hot cups of tea, paracetamol and bed. So that's all he can do. Uh, tonight, we're supposed to have a government announcement, hopefully, because I'm seeing around the rest of Europe um, pretty much everybody's restrictions are being lifted, so hopefully ours follow soon. And uh, oh, I've been watching the news about the whole sort of Russia-Ukraine uh, situation. I hope I'm not tuning in, you know, later in the week and we've, we're in a bit of a sort of semi-crisis mode. I don't know, it just, I find all that really scary. Especially, especially now I live on mainland Europe. I suppose the Brits will know what I'm talking about. You know, living um, living in, in Britain, you know, if we, we're islanders, even though it's a very sort of big country in terms of like economic power, it's still very, very small. And it, you know, when I've moved to Europe, mainland Europe, and then you see how accessible it is to just jump across borders, you know, things like that really do make me, um, bit concerned so anyway we'll see we'll see we'll have a chit chat about that later in the week shall we let's not keep it 
let's keep it light and all doom and gloom. But yeah, you know, we all watch the news, don't we? Anyway, um, I'm almost at my motorway turn off. I hope I caught it on camera. A taxi pulled in front of me, put me up and then put his brakes on. Idiot. A such a Dutch thing when you're driving. They overtake. Like, they tailgate terribly here. All the foreigners that I know complain about that. And then um, when they overtake you, they break. It's like, what? Why? Why do you do that? I don't know. If I had, if I had disposable income, and see, somebody else just pulled in front of me now on the motorway. Um, I know he's changed his mind and gone back in the lane. He just came out of. Oh. Anyway, um, if I had disposable income and time, I'd love to do a Dutch driving a uh, couple of driving lessons and see what they actually teach these people. Because driving's not their strong point. Trust me tailgating they love it and just stopping the car in the middle of the street and leaving them to you know to drop something off or pick somebody up it's considered perfectly normal you can block that road and everybody must just put up with it especially in Amsterdam <laughs> I hope if these Dutch people watching you're laughing because it's all you know it's tongue-in-cheek I do love it here anyway waffle waffle need to concentrate now I will catch you later way home from work oh my gosh this weather it's been gorgeous all day oh, sorry speed ramp um it's been gorgeous all day and then literally like an hour before us leaving work the heavens opened and it's just it's not stopped oh i'm driving home through amsterdam so i know it seems a bit of a stupid choice driving uh through the forest uh, on what would yeah be classed as a stormy night but uh, we've had really bad winds here for a while so I know that the forestry uh, commission um, cleans up this area really really super quick so and the traffic just just traffic jams everywhere and um, I'm, I'm coming home with Google Maps because it um, shows me where all the um, traffic um, jams and incidents are and it took me through Amsterdam on the way home and it was just bumper to bumper but also the flooding was really bad oh I'm sure I soaked a few cyclists to the skin oh it's awful anyway I think I'm on the home stretch now I'm like 10 minutes away from my home but my gosh I'm tired I'm just not used to this I'm getting a bit worried because Joshua's I think I might have mentioned this Joshua's got a sore throat and I started with a sore throat this afternoon and I'm like oh no oh I didn't take my vitamin D for a couple of days so I'm gonna pop a load of that down me I can't believe these tra traffic lights in the middle of the forest anyway the forest it's not really forest by some country standards but for Holland it is but um yeah gosh um completely forgot to take something out the uh, freezer for dinner tonight so oh, I don't know I don't even know if Lawrence is home either not heard from him all day anyway let's see right we're moving we're moving hope you can hear me just on my lunch break I'm having some cheese and crackers for my dinner lunch sorry I seem obsessed with it, don't I? It just annoys me. Uh, I've got some camembert. I don't even know if that's focusing. To say I'm not thrilled with this phone. And... Brie. And uh, Viking Bloom. you saw any of that <laughs> Ugh, I don't know um last night I got home I was so tired tired that drive home in that terrible weather was just it wiped me sorry I'm being rude I'm just I'm slicing cheese and talking to you I'm multitasking um just it just tired me out uh, I was I was just so tense because you know people don't sort of drive 
with that much due care and attention to start with. So as soon as we get like a bit of a bad weather, oh, that's just crumbled everywhere. It's like you've got to be like sharp on it. Otherwise, you know, you can end up sort of rear-ending somebody or vice versa. This is so crumbly, this cheese. Oh, it's nice though. Um, but uh, yeah, I got home and um, Lawrence was home making dinner so I was like oh I was like oh thank you oh just the thought of having to come home to a dark cold house because uh, I wasn't even sure if the boys were around and then having to start thinking about making some dinner so he just um he did a pasta which was really delicious um so super happy about that uh he had a great day I think he said he left the office about three-ish because um, he had a meeting with the US, like out of out of uh, Dutch office hours. So he came home and took that meeting from home. But uh, he had a great first day. He said everybody was just so nice and welcoming, and yeah, he's really uh, he's really looking forward to getting stuck in. His boss has just told him to take it easy for the first week, just sort of network, you know, meet your colleagues kind of thing. So Lawrence will struggle with that because he's just, he, he'll be itching to just get stuck in. But anyway, patience is a virtue. I'm making a right mess of these cheese and crackers. Um, I feel okay today. I don't know what that sore throat was about yesterday. Uh, maybe it was because I've been in the office, you know, in the air conditioning. I don't know. I was starting to get like, oh no. But um, Joshua's um, feeling much better, although he's just he's staying off work for another day or two just to be on the safe side. But it's definitely, he's tested uh, negative every day. He's definitely not that. But um, Oh yeah, so that's what I wanted to update you about. Um, we had uh, another government announcement. I'm having some cranberry sauce with my camembert. Um, we had another government announcement last night. And hurrah, hurrah restrictions like 95% of them being lifted finally uh, and this is all going to take place over a you know two week period there's going to be like a gradual rollout and they're scrapping the QR code so you don't need them to get in restaurants bars or anything anymore and I think my understanding was the only two the only two restrictions that will stay in place is that for uh, group um, events, over 500 people will still require a negative uh, COVID test and face mask mandatory on public transport and planes. And that's it. And that's it. Wow. I can't even imagine, eh? Oh, I tell you, it just feels like finally. But I mean... I think those of you who've sort of had your restrictions eased a bit recently, or, or, you know, and you've been in a pretty tight lockdown as the Netherlands, although I think we've been one of the worst in Europe. I think France had it quite bad, but the, the Netherlands has had it like one of the strictest. It's not affected our numbers anyway. I've mentioned this before. Waffle, waffle. Um, but um, I think it's, it's this feeling of like, oh, finally, and then a bit to like, yeah, for how long? I don't know, It's a, you're a little bit sort of sceptical. So for me, I'm just thinking, okay, great, summer and spring, and then we'll see what autumn, winter brings. So that's terrible, isn't it, that you're on sort of live like that? But anyway, I suppose that's the new way we're living. Right, the kettle's boiled. I am going to sit and eat my cheese and crackers. And uh, I've got another meeting in 20 minutes. See you later. Just cooking schnitzel for dinner um I didn't go into the office today sorry there's a lot of glare back on this is it from this a bit better I know I look dreadful um and I hope you can hear me um I didn't go to the office today so just a quick recap what happened yesterday um or a week because <laughs> I think I think I mentioned I had a sore throat uh on Tuesday when I was going home from work, on the way home from work. So Joshua self-tested all week and was negative, negative, negative. 
and then I was um I didn't feel well I had a sore throat on the way home from work on Tuesday and then um yesterday I woke with a really bad headache um not sore throats okay but as the day progressed I just didn't feel good I feel like I've got like this sinus sort of headache cold coming on and my throat's still a bit scratchy and I've been a bit sort of uh gaspy anyway uh he did another self test yesterday and it was positive. So anyway, I booked us both in. We went for um, PCR test um, after I finished work. And Joshua's was negative. Mine was, um, no, Joshua's was positive and mine was negative. And then I've done another piece, another, a self test this morning because I woke up this morning with a really bad headache and just, I feel exhausted, like super tired. And uh, mine was negative. So I don't know if I've got, I don't know if I've got it, it, and I'm like following suit like Josh, you know, testing um, negative for days and days, or I might, maybe I just got, you know, a general sort of cold virus, winter kind of thing, I just don't know. But I figured it's best not to go in the office two days. So I've worked, but I stayed at home because, yeah, if I've got it, I don't want to be taking that to the office and infecting everybody, do I? So, um, Lawrence has um, literally come home from work, changed his shoes, grabbed his um, hockey stuff and uh, flew out the door. And he's, he's refing a match tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow, I was going to go out with Namely, spend the day with Namely. We were going to go out shopping and uh, lunch together, but we've cancelled that because she, <laughs> she's starting a new job on Monday. And, and yeah, it's not worth risking getting sick with anything, you know starting a new job so I'm really disappointed with that but it's the sensible thing to do and um can you see I look washed out don't I I've got makeup on <laughs> I really don't feel good uh and I've got a physio appointment in the morning but I just I don't know what to do about that I'm really really don't know what to do at all Lawrence feels okay I mean I've been popping vitamin d like it's uh you know going out of fashion so Maybe, maybe just my immune system trying to fight something off. But definitely feels like, it just doesn't feel good here. I was a bit gaspy today. When I've spoken for a while, it's like a bit, you know, anyway. Right, so schnitzel, uh, oven fries and peas. That's for dinner. A semi-easy dinner. That's what I like. Uh, and then I'm just sitting on the sofa. It's um, Zoom night tonight, but I can't... Uh, I can't uh, face um, too much input from the headache, plus I'm dead tired. Actually, last night, I think I went to bed about 10, and even then, I sort of forced myself to stay awake. Yeah, definitely fighting something off. Anyway, waffle, waffle. Uh, nothing exciting will happen, I guarantee it, so I'll catch you tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Just off to physio. <clears throat> I'm feeling uh, much better today, although I don't feel good, um, but I'm negative still, so I, I, can't, I can't explain it. I think it's like my immune system's like working hard to fight something off. Well, I'm still popping all my vitamins, so maybe they're doing the trick. Anyway, I'm off to physio, because uh, I need to. My uh, Sciatic nerve is um, bothering me. Ooh, um, and then, yeah, I think the UK is under this as well. But um, we're expecting um, Storm Eunice to hit the Netherlands uh, this afternoon. I think they said around two o'clock our time. It's okay here. It's, it's not, it's a, it's a bit windy, it's a bit drizzly, but it's no different from any other day. Um, but anyway, I think I already mentioned this, the day out that I had planned with Emily was cancelled anyway, so it sounds really windy in the car, but it's not, when I'm looking at the trees, it's, um, they're not sort of blowing a gale. Um, anyway, so because I'd uh, cancelled my day out with Namely, uh, I've got the day to myself, so I'm, I'm going to physio. Uh, on the way home, I'm going to pop to the supermarket 
because um, we've got no uh, milk. Not I have almond milk, we've got no regular milk because I don't drink it. I'm not on top of that stuff and I think the kids guzzle it. Gosh, I don't even know. I think we, I think we go through about eight litres a week. But the picnic delivery is coming this evening between 5.30 and 6.30. But now I'm thinking, well, if there's a storm and it's bad weather, well, maybe they don't come. So anyway, I'll pop to the supermarket. I'll just pick up some um, milk. I've got a loaf of bread in the freezer. And, um, you know, if I have to make something for dinner, it's fine. Normally we have pizza on a Friday night. I don't think they'll be doing takeaway deliveries in the middle of the store, but I had ordered um, our favourite frozen pizza, the spinach one, what well, is Lawrence and I's favourite one. Anyway, waffle waffle. Um, I did also hope to go and pick up my place and order for uh, some wool to finish my socks off. Talk about knitting now. <laughs> but um, she's not got back to me when I can go and pick them up. Messenger, anyway. Okay, I bet there's no parking. Catch you later. Just tidying up. I've just filmed a podcast finally. Ugh. Um, it's really, really picked up the wind here. Uh, bad news. Picnic have cancelled the shopping uh, delivery, but they didn't let me reschedule. They just um, I had a message. I need to look into it, saying that they'll reimburse me. It was cancelled. Luckily. Um, oh, it's a bit chilly in here as well. Luckily, um, after physio, I popped to the supermarket and picked up some um, bread rolls and milk. And then William came home from school and had also <laughs> been to the supermarket. Lawrence had um, sent him some money and he picked up some more milk. So we're okay for cups of tea and coffee and packets of cereal, I think we've got in the in the cupboard. Um so anyway, that's tonight's dinner scuppered, but I've had a look in the freezer and I've got some um, chicken nuggets <laughs> and fish. So Lawrence and I are gonna have fish and chips. Kids love chicken nuggets and um, chips, fries. As long as uh, nothing happens with our uh, electricity or power lines, you never know. Uh, the TV's gone off, uh, which are, it's strange because it's, um, the satellite and the um, Dutch television, but the internet's working, I don't know, Lawrence needs to figure that out. Um, he's gone into the office against my, against my wishes, but you know, that's his choice. Um, I really, I'm sorry, Russell, I really, really don't want him driving in this kind of weather, but you know, he knows best. Right, I'm gonna carry on um, tidying all my stuff up and then I'm going to go upstairs and um, hopefully edit a podcast and get that out. Maybe it's already gone out before the vlog. That would be good. Uh, I've shown the, um, my little walnut shell because not everybody watches the podcast. But um, I couldn't get the camera to focus nicely on it. This is what I was working on. <gasps> the walnut reveal. I don't know if it's focusing. I think what I'll do, I'll um, film. I'll film it separately and insert the footage in the vlog uh, podcast. Maybe this as well if you want to see it. But um, I've gold leaf behind it, and then these um, little toadstools. I've got more. I've made them myself. Teeny weeny sculpted them with um, Fimo clay, and uh, then I painted them with acrylic. quite pleased with the painting I like how I've got the shadow underneath of the gills so yeah that's the walnut shell the big reveal and I, I've made a little leather patch for the hinge okay um right I'm gonna go and um, finish clearing this up I'm gonna go upstairs and um hopefully cobble together a podcast let's see if the internet holds up oh I've just seen a mouldy tangerine in the fruit bowl that's nice I will catch you later. Oh, 
they predicted it would hit the Netherlands at four and it's uh, four now. Oh, it's, yeah. I literally, I went into the garden because I saw, I saw one of my uh, fencing screens was poof about to blow off. So I thought, let me just grab it and I just shoved it behind the sofa. Hopefully it stays there. I don't think it will, to be honest with you. Um, and she's uh, nearly got blown off my feet. And these um, sirens already. So, oh gosh, William's at uh, his friends. You'll have to stay there for a while. I don't really want him out in this. Oh, I stupidly, I wasn't paying attention when he said he was going out. And now it's like, oh, well, because where his friend lives, there's a lot of trees there. Anyway, I'm sure the parents will let him stay there for dinner and let's just see weathers it out. Because it's not going to be like, it's not going to be, it will pass. I mean, it's going to be crappy weather, but it will pass. But considering it's just hit landing now, it's like, good gosh. Lawrence is on his way home from work. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, we survived Eunice. Oh, I was looking this morning on Facebook at all the um, the footage that people had filmed in the Netherlands. Oh my gosh. I don't recall if there were anybody, um, any fatalities. I hope not, fingers crossed. I heard in the UK there were. Oh gosh, I tell you. Um, I think you might have seen some footage of. So the houses um, at the back of our house, uh, across the canal, we have a, quite a big canal at the back of the house. Um, the ones that have got like this real steep pitched roof, 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 what do you think? Um, three of them have got gaping big holes in the roof where the tire, tiles, uh, one of them we actually, the one more or less directly behind us, I saw them actually falling off and this morning I had a look and there was more. Um, so these two houses have got, um, I'm just looking now, this, the a house behind us has got two men on the roof and then one further down the canal has got one uh, a man on the roof with ladders. Um, I think Natalie said some of her tiles were off and then I looked on um, this, this the kitchen diner is an extension at the back of the house, so I looked on the roof here uh, this morning and there's like half a broken coping tile, so you know like the, the round ones, on our neighbour's roof. So I said to Lawrence, or oh, it could be off ours or theirs, whichever way. So anyway, Lawrence is out at the moment. In case you're interested, Lawrence has driven miles and miles and miles away. I think it's going to be a four hour round trip because he's bought himself an array. Does anybody know what an array is? No, no, nobody, me neither. Uh, I think I can sort of explain it that it's something to do with computers. <laughs> and I think something to do with connecting things and storage and that's about as much as you're gonna get off me so he's bought himself uh, an array for his office which i keep pointing out to him is my office but anyway that's another discussion so um when he gets back he said uh, he'll get the ladders out go and have a look on the roof and in the meantime my new print has arrived i should say our but it's mine uh, our old printer, here we've got an inkjet, I don't even know the brand of it, it's given up the ghost, it's awful. And um, I do print a lot, especially with the dollhouse, I like to print miniature things. Uh, for my Etsy shop I print like labels and stuff, so it's just given up the ghost. Anyway, we've um, ordered uh, a new HP laser jet, so I'm most excited about that. Um, because if you're a crafter, you'll know there's loads of stuff you can do with laser jet. So I'm like, oh, where's my Mod Podge? <laughs> uh, so yeah, he needs to check the roof, 
figure out the laser jet printer at some point where it's we don't even know where it's going to live at the moment it's a discussion over if it's going to in the lounge in my room in the office i don't know i will let you know and we need to go and do our groceries because i think i mentioned it our picnic delivery was cancelled not postponed or moved cancelled and i checked my bank account they gave me the money back so I was like, I would have been all right if we'd have rescheduled for today, but anyway. Uh, so I have to go out and do the groceries at some point. Uh, because of my arthritis, and also at the moment the frozen shoulder is still niggly and the um, sciatica, I can't actually lift. I've been told by the doctors, do not lift. So I need Lawrence to just help me lift things. Otherwise, I'll see what time William gets out of bed. It's still morning time here. Um, if he's up... I don't know, midday-ish, I'll ask him if he fancies to pop into the shop, so we need to do a bit of a grocery shop. Um, aside from the tile, we're relatively unscathed here. We did think one of our fence or fencing panels might blow over, because it did in a previous storm. Lawrence had to put a new um, fencing post in, and that was, it was behind the bin, and it was like rocking last night, but it's still standing. Um, the cover uh, off the um, garden sofa blew off, but luckily it blew off, not there, there, no there, behind you, yes, it's in the corner there, and it's tangled up in all our bikes, so, um, yeah, because that's about €100 Euro for a new one, because it's, uh, it's an oversized one, so luckily we didn't lose that, and I think for the rest it's okay, blue, blue skies, sunny, beautiful day, a bit windy and cold, but uh, yeah, for the rest, anyway, I hope... If you've had a storm or any horrible weather incidents at the moment, I hope you're all safe and well and you've not got anything expensive to be paying out for. That's also, you know, the the, the downside of, uh, you know, you, you think, oh, great, we're OK. And then when you see small things, uh, small things can cost you money. So um, hopefully you're OK. I think that was everything I wanted to share with you this weekend. Or this week, I should say, not this weekend, this week. Uh, family quiz night tonight uh but i think i'll wrap up so the if you missed it there was a podcast loaded on the wave and almanac channel i'll put a link somewhere either on the screen or below uh go if you fancy it's about an hour this time roughly around an hour so if you fancy um a sit down and a natter with me pop on over there and then uh, if not Thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and again, thank you for all the comments, all the interactions that you do on the channel are just, you know, they're great, and they help the channel, it, you know, it gets it picked up by the YouTube alg algorithms, I think I've mentioned this several times, so the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the shares, you know, everything, it all sort of helps our little community grow, yeah, I'm really happy with this channel, thanks for joining me, bye friends, see you in the next video.